I'm Steve for This Hook With Cars and today I'm back with the 1957 Pontiac Star Chief. Last time I got this car running and today I need to take a look at the brakes. I'm underneath the car right now and right there, that yellow thing, that is the master cylinder. It's a single master cylinder. It only has one output that goes to both the front brakes and the rear brakes. And the square section right here, that's the reservoir. I'm going to have to go back up on top to take a look at how you would put fluid into this. If we look down inside the engine bay here on the driver's side, way down here, and then past the steering column, see that round thing in the center of the screen? That's the fill for the brake reservoir. It is almost completely inaccessible. Seems that a 7 8 socket fits it. This is not what I wanted to see. The brake fluid in the master cylinder has dried up and crystallized. I'm going to start by disconnecting the brake line right here at the T. Here it is removed from the car. This is where the vacuum goes into the booster. The brake pedal will be pushing on this rod right here. Back here is our master cylinder. This output right here, that goes to the brakes. This hole is where you fill your fluid. And if you look inside there, the brake fluid has just completely solidified into goo. To get this end plate off, there's a bunch of little tabs. Right here's one, right here's one, and those need to be bent back out so that this end plate can be removed. I'm going to remove the shell here to get better access to this tab here. I have the four tabs pushed out now, so I should be able to remove this end plate. Here's what we can see under the end plate. The vacuum will travel all the way around the hose and then into this inlet here. Now I will disconnect this hose so that I can take this tube off. And I'll do that by taking these screws off the plate here. At this point, we can see the movement of the vacuum piston. So if I push it in, you can see the piston moves. If I let out, the spring pushes it back. Here's a good look of the vacuum piston. You can see the sludge line from it sitting for so long. I'm going to get this cleaned up and I'll be right back. Now we have a good look inside of the cylinder. We have a retainer plate that is holding a spring back. So I need to pop this little C-clip out so that I can get this plate off and remove the spring. And now finally, after all that work, we can see the three bolts that hold the master cylinder to the brake booster. So I'll take those off and then we can get to the master cylinder. We can get this off in order to rebuild it. Here's our master cylinder. With all of the gasket removed, I can now pull this seal out. Then I'll work my way around with the screwdriver to get this one out.
I think now I'll take the filler cap off. We can clean that out. Looks like I'm going to have to stop for another clean out now. This used to be brake fluid, but it has solidified, gummed everything up inside of here. Just made a complete mess as you can see. So again, I'm gonna clean up this mess. I'll be right back. Now with the old brake fluid cleaned out, we can see inside of the reservoir for the master cylinder. Now let's pop out the residual valve while I'm here. I'm using a one and quarter inch socket here. So here's the retainer. We have the little valve, then the spring. This valve inside the reservoir is the compensation valve. I'm going to remove that with a one and one eighth inch socket. That one is really stuck. There we go. Now we have the compensation valve. Luckily, it doesn't look like any of the brake fluid that was down inside of the cylinder dried up, so our piston and cylinder are in good shape. To get our piston out, there is a snap ring right here. It's hard to see. There's a bunch of gunk in here, but I'll pop the snap ring out so we can get our piston out. Our snap ring. There's the washer that was behind the snap ring. Now I need to get this fiber washer out of here. I'm cleaning it up so that hopefully it will get pushed out. Now it's starting to come. There we go. Now we have fully disassembled the master cylinder. It's just a matter of cleaning it up and putting it back together. Let's take a look at our rebuild kit. There is a lot of pieces that come with this. So we did get a new piston. This is a bag of assembly grease. We have our parts and seals for the vacuum booster and our parts and seals for the master cylinder. Now that is everything that has to do with the master cylinder reassembled. I think the vacuum piston looks in good enough shape that I'm just going to use it as is. I'm not going to replace the seals on it. Uh, it doesn't look like they sent me all the gaskets I would need if I took this completely apart. So I think it's best that I just leave it the way it is. I'm going to take a bunch of this assembly lube. I'm going to put it on the inside of the vacuum belt. Now I have to set the master cylinder and booster down into that hole, put the floor back together, and then bolt the master cylinder back up to the floor. I have everything mounted back up now. We'll just tuck the carpet back up. Before I put any brake fluid in, I will have to put this line back in between the distribution block and the master cylinder. 
There we go, fully reassembled. I'm now ready to put brake fluid in and bleed the brakes. Brakes are bled now. Let's try it out on the lift before I take it outside. I don't want to hit anything. I'll move it forward just a little bit, see if the brakes hold it. All right, I'm in gear. Seems to be holding. Let's move forward a little bit. Yeah, they're working. Let's try going backwards. Looks like they work. That's gonna be it for today. We got the 1957 Pontiac Star Chief running and braking. So if you wanna see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.